Plaintiff Talitha Bliven says she and the defendant were good friends until the defendant asked Talitha to have sex with her friend for $40. Talitha claims the defendant physically attacked her and Talitha is suing her today for unreturned property. Defendant Sharon Brooks says she and Talitha are both drug addicts and the only reason her friend gave Talitha $40 was because she was supposed to purchase crystal meth for him. Sharon's countersuing for harassment. Start with you. Um, I was friends with her, I thought, but friends don't physically attack you in your apartment. How long were you all friends? How long we met each you? other when she moved into the apartment complex that we moved in. How lived many together. years or months? Yeah, year since 2016. All right, a couple of years. Mm -hmm. What's it been like being neighbor as neighbors? We had fun, but things went bad. How? What happened? She kept certain things that belonged to me and my child. Okay, she kept certain things. And said she threw them away. And then she threw those things away. That was once? Yeah. Yes. Other than that, everything has been fine? Um, she tried to sell me when I <laughs> sell say... Sell you? Yeah, for $40 to her friend. To Wait, some old man. What's that all about? That's not what happened. Sell you? Yeah. You her slave? <laughs> <laughs> Wanted me to have sex with him. Sex slave? Or whether sex trafficking slave? What are you saying? She tried That's to have... That's not here from you, ma'am. In 2016, I met Talitha. Um, I was in a domestic violence situation. She was there by my side when I was in the hospital. Okay. So anyway, we both suffer from drug addiction. Okay. I've been a drug addict ever since over 20 years now. I'm How long are you in recovery? You sound like you're in recovery. No, I, would, I need to be. Okay. Okay. Um, Have you been in and out of recovery? Yes, sir. The people who mention it themselves say they struggle. That means they're sincere. So if you don't mind, we're going to help you this time. Is that all right? Thank you. I Good. I'm so that. glad to hear you admit. I'm very proud of that. more folks who come in here like you and I offer assistance. They come in here lying, I'm gonna call them a crackhead. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, so we both suffer from addiction. Mine's is crack cocaine. She's on crystal meth. Mm -hmm. um, that's all. I'm the night that? I've been clean. Okay. Go ahead. So the night in questioning what happened was since it's the, the situation starts like this. You all were friends? Yes. Outside we, of this, there was no problems in your yes, friendship? We were, we were we were friends. For two years? Yes. And then this happened? And this this is okay. what happened. Attacked me in my apartment, though. Go ahead. Um, before this, we did have one incident a year ago. What was that incident about? Um, just her running her mouth, and okay. we could end up getting in a fight. All right. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So this time? So this time, um, since she, she lost her apartment, so she was there for me. I seen her. I said, you can stay a few days at my house. So I let Talitha come and stay at my house. We partying and stuff like that. A friend of mine's come over. He liked it, her, offered her $40. They go into the bathroom. This is how the situation happened. They come back. Now she's supposed to win and got him some crystal meth. She never came back mm -hmm. to the apartment. Hold on. That is not true. Now hold on, because you threw me off a that little is bit not there. That's true. It says she. He offered her $40 for sex. That is not true. I don't they know went into the bathroom, and he came out, and she was supposed to have gotten him some crystal, crystal meth, meth from where? The, in the bathroom? No, from, with the $40, she's supposed mm -hmm. to went somewhere. But instead, they went into the bathroom. They went to the bathroom. He gave her $40 while they were in the bathroom. Uh, okay. You see what he I'm saying? He said, go out and get it and bring it back. Right. I got it. So Lisa right. never that comes back true. with mm -hmm. nothing. She doesn't come back with at she, all. She run off with the dope. Uh -huh. So I'm stuck. <laughs> that is so, not true. So I'm steady trying to call her. Where this man's money at? Where this man's stuff? She couldn't even make it back to the house. She, she had to fire it up. Time they put it in your hand. Huh? Exactly. How long ago was that? Two and a half months. Yeah, about two she, months ago. Were you getting high back then? Two and a half months ago. I. At her house, yes, but since then, I have not. All right, but in that occasion, you were. I, she told me to go in the bathroom, and... You were still getting high? That's what I'm asking. Yes, I did. All right, well, then just say it. You ran off with the man's $40. But that's you not got your the, dope, and it, it was, was so good, you couldn't that. make it back. Didn't want to share. It wasn't for yeah, that. Yeah, let me she just get let me, me just get a nip me, of it real quick. Let me, <laughs> she tried to let give, me get a chip. She tried to get a chip. True. Hmm. 
She nobody tried, can she eat. Told me nobody to can to smoke just one. She <laughs> 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 never made it back. <laughs> that's, that's, that's understandable. If a man knew he was giving the money to a dope fiend, what well, made him think you're going to come back with the dope? You want as much dope for yourself as you can get. You that can't split true. no $40 rock. No way, or can you? How many people can smoke crap. on a $40 rock? She does crystal meth. Oh, don't you smoke crystal meth, too? Well, yeah. how many people can smoke on a $40 crystal meth rock? Seriously. More than just me. Just you? See there? That's why no, I told you. I said you. more. Yeah, I said that's more. That's what you thought that night. <laughs> no, but you said $40. To... Yeah, just me can smoke on this. No, no, Go ahead, man. I'll get back to you. Anything <laughs> else you want to tell so, me? So anyway, she text, I'm texting her. Where, where she at? Where she at? She texted me back in one of the conversations. It's on my other phone. She said, I'm worth more than $40. I'm worth billions. So after yeah, that, she was high. yeah. No. After that, she takes. That's me not again, what happened, Your Honor. And she Sharon, goes. Sharon, tell the truth. Oh, believe me, I am. No, so you're not. After that, Your Honor. You're not telling. She goes, let her finish. Well, I'm making a, a movie right now. Who said that? This is what Talitha said. We told her to come with the forty dollars. Right. She said, "I'm busy." Three days later, T Talitha she calls me. She says she's in the hospital. I said, "Call me from the hospital." She goes, "Well, I'm in the hospital in Washington." I said, well, call me from that because I'm not believing that she's in the hospital at all. So she doesn't call me back. She, t she sends me some more text messages that's dragged. So I still keep her clothes. And keep her clothes? Yeah. Clothes she was living with you, obviously, and you let them stay? That's yeah. what you're saying? Yeah, I let you her stay. You didn't keep them against her will, did you? No, no, okay. Your Honor. Yes, she did. She never came back to get her yes, stuff from that first day on. She never came to get and her that's stuff. the property you're suing for, the clothes you left back. there, I or that she yes. kept? I knocked All on right. the door, and I came Tell me your story. You would, you, I couldn't, I had to pull everything out of you, and you haven't stopped talking since when I'm talking to her. So maybe now that I'm back to you, I don't have to pull it out of you. Let's hear <laughs> First off, she is not telling the truth. Mm -hmm. She tried to get me to have sex with this man for $40. Mm -hmm. What did you say? I said no. OK. She asked you in front of him. She said, go in the give bathroom her $40 for sale. Or go in there with him, and he'll give you $40. Is that what happened? Yeah. See that? Not for drugs. I can't get you to talk sex. now. Every sex. time I'm talking to her, you button in. She can't get her sentence out. I get back to you. You look like you're out of space. <laughs> can't answer any of my questions. Because I'm nervous. Uh, you seem like you high. I'm sober. Yes. I'll be in a cup right now. Well, why can't you explain yourself? Go ahead, try. I won't say, I'll turn my back since I'll make you nervous. <laughs> Maybe you won't be nervous no. now. What? Go ahead. <laughs> now what you're nervous about? Anyway, it was not for drugs. And We're not talking she... about drugs. We're talking about the $40. You said she offered you up for Forty dollars for sex. Yeah. Now you've switched over. It was not her drugs. It was not Sounding for. Like I said what she it was not for is, drugs. Now you want to talk over me? Yeah, I think you're un incapable today of handling your case. I believe you're high today, and so I'm going to dismiss your claim because I don't hear cases with people who are intoxicated. I'm not intoxicated. And that's what I believe the case is today. Um, I will. Uh, the harassment. How has she harassed you? Well, I have documentation. Well, as a result of her contempt, I'll grant you your judgment as well. Have a good day. Thank you. Good. Continue success to you. Continue success. We're going to help you out. Thank you.